Hey everyone, this is IA Roadkill, and I am going to attempt to explain how to use the Crop Rotation Planner for Seasons in Farming Simulator 19. I need to add a disclaimer right now. I play on the PlayStation 4. I do not have access to Seasons. I have watched numerous videos, and I can see that everyone is struggling with the idea. I think I might know how it's done, so I'm going to make this video. I invite people that are on the PC to try my method, see if it works, and let me know. If I have mentioned something incorrectly, I will correct it. Uh, that way we have a good video out there on how to set up your planner. So let's get started. I don't have access to the game so I'm using a spreadsheet on my Mac. So here is my numbers little page that I built. Your crop rotation is vertical going from the top down. Step one pick a field to plan. So for this example we're gonna say it's called field one. Go to the field and look at the history for that field. I believe it will say two years prior what it had last year and what it had the year before that. Keep a mental note of those two crops. Step two, key in the history for the field, field one in this case, now before you do any plowing. I don't know if it would remove the history if you plowed or not. By keying in the history, I mean go to the first open field at the top on the left, col left column, which we're calling field one, and key in the crop that would have been the oldest or two years ago. In this case, we're going to say that it was fallow. In the next field down, you want to key in the prior year, or last year's, what was in the ground right now, what can you see as stubble. And for this example, we'll say it was wheat. We don't know that it was wheat, but it would be labeled as cereal. So pick something that was a cereal crop. You now have the history of that field in your system so that you can start a good plan. Step three, start adding your crop ideas for this year on the next open slot. You want to look for the best percentage on the column to the right of that. 1.00 being neutral, 1.2 being better, 0.9 being worse. You want to get the highest number possible of a fruit or crop that you want in the next year. Play around with different crops and see what you can get for the highest percentage. Remember that this slot is for what you are going to plant this spring. Step four, repeat step three for your year two of the game. In other words, go to the next box down and you want to try different crops until you get the best percentage for that year. Now repeat step four until you have your sheet filled out for as many years as you want. If your rotation only has three years of different crops, that's fine. You don't have to use all of them. But there are up to six spaces. Remember, you can only use four of your own crops at the present time because we have two crops in history at the top.
At this point, you have the first field, field one, planned for the next four years. And it would be time to plan field number two, which is the next one to the right, field number three, which is the third one, field number four, which would be the fourth one or the farthest one to the right. We're not going to fill those in right now. We'll just pretend you only have one field and that's all you're concerned about. After year one is over, in other words, you're in spring one of year two. Okay, or you could do it in winter, but it's easier to explain if you're in the next year or spring one. Step eight is to move all the planner entries up one line. So you're going to remove line one history field from step number two and move everything up. The next step, step nine, is to add the next crop idea. In this case, it would be for year five to get the best percentage. After year two is over, in other words, spring one of year three, you'll want to repeat this last steps again. Move all your planner entries up one line, removing line one, history of field from step two, and add another crop idea in this last open slot cleared out again. Remember, you don't have to add all of them, but you may. As you enter this last time, keep an eye on what that's going to do to your year one that is now at the top of the list. It will affect your rotation when you start this over again. Remember that this is only a planner for your benefit. It does not affect how the game runs. I hope this hasn't been too confusing. I hope it has simplified how the procedure would work. Again, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I can correct any errors that I have made. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable or educational, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.